Hello all, welcome back to VA Creative. This is a super short video that was totally inspired by color. A couple of weeks ago, I had sprayed some gloss sprays through a stencil, flipped them over, and stamped them off as, you know, we are wont to do from time to time. And then when I was cleaning, I accidentally laid this Just Words collage paper over that pink one, and I was totally inspired by that color combination. So I decided that I was just gonna let color be my guide and create uh, this little art journal page. Though, confession, this was originally not going to be an art journal page. I was going to do two tags. You know me. But then I was like, no, Shannon, you just made a miniature art journal page exactly for this. So use it. As you can see, I have also grabbed a previously printed gel plate image. And uh, that's an old one. I've been sitting on that sucker for like nine months. That's from my gloss spray video. Uh, which interestingly is my most popular video on my channel. I have been sitting on that thing for forever trying to muster up enough nerve to uh, to use it. It actually took me a minute. I had to get my mind right before I could cut into it. But I thought the color choice was just absolutely perfect to go with these two like accidental tags that I had made. So really what I'm going to do now is just kind of play around with the color. I want a lot of contrast and I want a lot of interest. I'm not going to add a lot of collage elements to this because the colors are so overwhelming. I don't want it to get busy or messy and everything just kind of look muddled together. Up until this point, I was still going to do two tags, but then this is when like, you know, my integrity kicked in and I was like, no, use the thing that you made. So it fit perfectly on those little four by six and some change uh, papers that we cut out for the, the Tim Holtz journal we made last week, but it was a little too much white space. Is that even a thing? Can you have too much white space? I don't know. So I wanted, again, some more contrasting colors because on the tag, there's that pink and black, and then there's also that turquoise and kind of purple color coming off the gel plate. And what is the best color contrast that we can use? And that is totally cheddar. Oh my gosh, I love that color. I'm going to use the scribble stick and stamp right onto one side of the page because, again, I want to leave white white space but I also want to bring in some of that cheddar and then all I'm going to do is just use my little tiny attacher and I'm going to attach that sucker down just like that I'm not going to do anything else to the background because I love that little pop of color however that tag that is sitting off to the right it was calling to me I, I felt like I needed to pull some of that cheddar down into the lower right hand corner of the art journal page the problem was I also really liked that tag and I'm like, mm, I probably am not going to be able to replicate that, but let me just go ahead and stamp some faces right over top of it and, you know, maybe, maybe I won't like it as much. Um, nope. Unfortunately, I liked it even more and it was really hard, really hard to cut that, to uh, cut that tag up. Uh, but I, I do get it cut up. I cut up all the little heads um, and I, when I cut up this stamp, I usually cut it this way. I'll cut the three together and then I always have that fourth one kind of off to the side. And now I'm trying to figure out how to bring in some of that cheddar color without overwhelming it and cover up the little tag hole that you could still see at the top. Uh, but I was successful. I loved the way that it came together. I have some gel medium that I'm using to attach my sentiment. That's actually the only thing I use gel medium on. Oh, I'm making so much progress. It's like I'm in recovery from gel medium. And that was our finished page. I absolutely love how it came together. It was super quick because I use things from my stash. I would love to hear if you've ever been inspired by random things in your stash. Leave me a message down in the comments. All right, guys, here is our finished page. Thank you so much for watching, and I will totally see you next time. Hey, here's some more videos that you might like, and please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you can see more of my content.